At this time, we'd like to welcome uh, to bring uh, the official message from the UN Secretary General on the occasion of the ob observation of World Down Syndrome Day. Please welcome Ms. Marina Walters, the UN Resident Coordinator with the UN. Please welcome her with a round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I follow the lead of uh, the speaker just ahead of me. All protocols uh, very much preserved. Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but a big shout out to the, to the students here in the room. Brilliant to see and, and that you're here. Um, we'll try to make it not as formal as we tend to do it in these events, but it's really my great pleasure and I'm very happy to be here for the United Nations. Um, you, you know, the headquarters is sitting in New York. The big boss is the Secretary General, uh, and he has a, a very special take on the day and, and always makes it a point to, to speak up once a year um, on the cause of, of you know, the rights of, of people living with Down syndrome. But what I'm very charmed about is, is that the message of this year is leave no one behind. And I just have to step back in time a couple of years ago, all of the countries of the world came together and what they carved out was what we're referring to and calling the Sustainable Development Goals. So that's a number of goals where people came together and said, by 2030, this is how we want the world to look. And Trinidad, as was just said, Trinidad and Tobago is very much on, on, on the way with its own 2030 agenda to go right there. And in the middle of this, we reached out at the United Nations to citizens in the streets. We did an online platform in every country, ran a campaign that was called the My World campaign. And we asked them, we asked youngsters, we went to schools, forget about the governments, how do you want the world to look like? And one of the big features that came out of this My World campaign that gave the governments the basis to create the sustainable development goals was the issue of not leaving anyone behind. It was a very strong message. And it really, it really became the, the title of, of how we introduced this agenda, saying, if you're talking about the environment, if you're talking about economics, if you're talking about the social affairs of the world, of the countries, what governments are looking for and need to push is the idea of leaving no one behind. So I'm, 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 I'm in love with this title of the event and, and even more happy to be here. But, but just to say, of course, that committing to the sustainable development goals, committing to the idea of not leaving anyone behind, of course, doesn't just involve the signature of a document. And that's also what the Secretary General of the UN, of the United Nations, very much highlights. It means really working avidly every day and that's something that we're seeing also very much in Trinidad and Tobago, that, that we don't just value the economic and sustainable development, but it has to go in hand with the equity, with equal access of people, of people with disability, of people living with Down syndrome. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, that's our big book that we, we take, um, reaffirms very much that people with Down syndrome are entitled to human rights on an equal basis with others. Today we want to reiterate that, that there's a need for greater equality of individuals, including people, including you, including people living with Down syndrome and other disabilities, because I want to add that on. What's important to note is, of course, that people with Down syndrome, people living with disabilities, very often face stigmatization. They, they face abuse, they suffer of a lack of support, and too often their challenges begin very early in age. They are excluded from quality educational systems, they don't have the access to healthcare they need, and there are not enough early intervention programs that support them to find the space and the room in society they deserve. And that is really what governments, what countries need to push probably a little harder, that the realization from the agenda, from the right, from the law down to the ground where it actually works and changes people's lives on the ground. Above all, and that's one of the messages that we very much like to, to deliver, people with disabilities, including 
people living with Down syndromes are not always just people in need of change. And I think that, that became very obvious here, here in the morning. They're very often agents of change. And we were just discussing here at the table also the issue of inclusion, how they can become agents of change in the classroom, in a community, in their own family. And this is equally something that needs to be taken into account when you start translating these laws into the platform that people need to live as part of a society. So on this, on the occasion of, of World Down Syndrome Day, we, we really should resolve to support the autonomy and independence of people living with disability, of people living with Down syndrome, but including very much preserving their freedom to choose, as was very much said this morning, and their right to be included as an active, accepted part of society. And think on this note, I would just like to leave it. Big shout out to everyone here in the room. And thank you so much for having us here today. It was really, really our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>